Well, yesterday, Ayana dropped a graphic showing fences up at a new location, a couple new locations, but one of them is right here behind me in uh, Lake Delton, Wisconsin. It's uh, right off of uh, Wisconsin Dells Parkway on Gosser or Gasser Drive. Not Josh Gosser, but Gasser probably. Well, if you're from Wisconsin, you know what I mean. Um, we are right across the street from uh, the existing Tesla supercharger at Culver's, uh, which has been the only uh, really DC fast charging in uh, the area um, for, well, since it opened in 2022. So uh, another thing at this uh, spot right across the street uh, that I can see now is Quick Charge, which will be open soon. Their, their uh, machinery was delivered and uh, installed recently. So um, that'll be opening probably in November. So um, going from nothing a couple of years ago to having three massive charging uh, locations here within a couple of years is, is a big deal for uh, the Wisconsin uh, area. Um, we're right off of I-90, and um, I would consider this to be part of the Dells. I think if you're not local to South Central Wisconsin, you probably don't realize that Lake Delton and Wisconsin Dells are separate cities. Um, but it's all part of the same kind of touristy area, the hotels, the restaurants, uh, the water slides uh, right down the street. Um, you know, it all kind of, you, you can come and go between uh, Lake Delton and Wisconsin Dells, probably not know it. So that's why I kind of, I mean, I live here and I kind of feel like, you know, if you just say, hey, I'm, we're going to the Wisconsin Dells, you may end up in Lake Delton and, and not even really realize it. So. Big news right off of I-90, so easy charging to get up and down the highway corridor, which um, you know has been a kind of a dead zone desert um, for a while. Um, I felt like this, you know, I think people were excited when Quick Charge uh, went under construction uh, to kind of help fill the gap. This supercharger, I have never experienced it, but from reading some uh, and reading some uh, experiences and uh, on PlugShare and also uh, hearing some other stories. Uh, there are lines at this uh, supercharger oftentimes. So lots of new charging would help uh, those lines kind of dissipate. And both of the locations that will be new will have CCS and Max plugs. So everybody can be served um, at both of the locations. Ayana has said that there will be 10 stalls here, uh, six CCS and four Nax cables. So. Um, very similar to the setup in uh, White Bear Lake, Minnesota that I was at over the summer where you've got five Albutronic hyperchargers. Three of them have two uh, CCS cables, two of them have uh, NAX cables on each. Both uh, cables can be used at the same time and uh, put out up to 400 kilowatts. So that's kind of what I'm expecting to see here uh, and that's kind of the video that you're seeing now. This is uh, Still very new, the, uh, the fence, when they say fence is up, they mean it has just gone up, right? There's no signage, there is nothing uh, that would tell you this is uh, an IANA location if you didn't uh, know the address and uh, kind of know what to expect from them. Things that I've noticed here, right now there's 14 parking stalls that are blocked off uh, for a 10 stall charging station. Um, there's also an area separately uh, kind of fenced off for the uh, charging distribution gear and transformer in the grass behind the parking stalls. Um, there are lots of, lots of things to do right in the same parking lot. Uh, Starbucks has a drive through location, Noodles and & Company, and several other restaurants and uh, stores right in the, in the same parking lot that you wouldn't have to go too far. But if you did want something else, uh, right across the street, you've got Denny's, Culver's, Burger King, um, Famous Dave's, McDonald's, Jersey Mike's, Subway. Um, I could keep going, but um, I'll stop it there. So just, just so you know, if you've never been to the Dells and would just be swinging through, there are options um, for days uh, here, walkable uh, from your the charging location back here. So. Um, just wanted to give you a stop up here, see what was going on, and uh, give you an idea um, of what fences up 
actually means. And I was kind of surprised when I got here that fences up truly meant they uh, they were ready to go. So uh, looking forward to that. Um, another thing I'm looking forward to is the Janesville location opening. Um, obviously, construction down there has been finished, um, but maybe before we get too far ahead of ourselves with this station, uh, we should also remember that the Janesville one will be open first. Um, looking forward to that. It should be uh, any day now if, uh, if things go right. Um, from uh, reading on PlugShare, they were doing some testing and um, other things that you obviously have to do before you open a, a charging station. So final preparations, hopefully uh, you could say, and uh, we will see that place open very soon. And uh, another great spot that I think will be uh, heavily used. And remember, that is actually a bigger location than this one. The one in Janesville is eight Albutronic hyperchargers for 16 stalls. Uh, so that, that one is right off of uh, I-90-39. Since it's right across the street, why don't we update you on the quick trip, uh, quick charge location here in the Dells as well, Lake Delton. Um, they've got the four machines in, the transformer and the distribution gear, looks like it's all in. Um, this setup is a little bit different than most of the other ones. Most of the other ones go in a line, um, kind of straight across. And these are in kind of opposing uh, parking directions. So um, interesting, uh, you know, they don't have to have the same setup in each location. They need to be able to change it a little bit to um, better fit their locations. But um, yeah, this one's a little bit different. Um, not too different. There's four SK Signet machines here and um, they're still wrapped up, but um, that looks pretty familiar to those of you that have been to a quick charge location before. The uh, 750 kVA transformer is uh, sitting in looking installed. Um, one thing that does need to happen, these uh, machines need to be wrapped. So, um, but you know, they're installed. Everything's kind of here and ready to go. It's just a matter of kind of um, crossing the T's and dotting the I's and uh, getting the uh, charging uh, hardware wrapped uh, with their nice quick charge logos and such. Um, but I mean, this this uh, station looks uh, looks good and uh, looks like it could be ready soon. So from Lake Delton, this is Jay Williams from the Wisconsin Channel. We'll see you at the next charge.